Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you all my thoughts on the new Riri Loves or Riri Hearts MAC Fall Collection. The beauty tag video that I talked about going up today, um, earlier in the week or last week when I mentioned what was coming this week, will go up Monday. I just wanted to get this video up because I honestly sort of debated putting this up or not or if I was going to do a video on this because normally for MAC collections unless if it's something like really big or a really anticipated collection I just do the posts on my blog. So the beauty tag video will come on Monday but I really wanted to post this one today since this collection is coming out this coming week and I wanted you guys to have time to see it before it was either sold out or released early. I don't know. Sometimes when they say when these collections release, they end up releasing earlier and it's just confusing. But um, it says that it's coming out in stores on September 26th and online on September 30th. So, But I wanted to share with you my thoughts. I will have a blog post up as well. Some people like looking at blogs for this and people like videos, but I feel like on the video I can get out more of my actual thoughts on it. The blog has more detailed pictures. There's a lot more thoughts on the blog too. So check that out. Um, but yeah, so basically the Riri Loves MAC or Riri Hearts MAC collections, there's been a couple out so far this year. I believe there's going to be maybe even one more. But yeah, to me it was just very confusing because at first I thought it was just the lipstick and um, the Riri Woo that was really popular. And then it was like every time, you know, there would be these little collections like the summer collection that she had. Um, and it was just a bunch of random stuff but the Riri Woo lipstick would always be there. This collection has gorgeous packaging. Um, I'll get into that and really show you a lot of that in a moment. Pretty rose gold, hot pink. To me, it kind of looks like Barbie or something, like circa early 90s. So there's two quads. There's a powder blush, a dual powder blush, which I'll show, um, a cream color base, several re-promoted items. And when I say, or not, not re well, there are re-promoted items, which means like um, limited edition things that they brought back that are hers, like the Riri Woo lipstick, of course, is a part of this. I was so shocked that they did the Hibiscus Kiss dual blush again, and they didn't do any other colors in this, which I think this is such a cool product that they could have done like a whole line of like fun, you know, different ones like this. These colors are so soft, um, like they're just so soft so I think this is very well suited to people with light skin tones for me I really have to use a lot of it to show up so if you had darker skin tones it would probably come across as a more like glowy look uh, but yeah you, you can build it but it is just a very sheer product but it's soft and I like it so I was disappointed that it being a fall collection they repromoted this which was for this from the summer um, but they also repackaged a lot of permanent items, which I can understand when they do that in a collection that's large and maybe they need some accompanying eyeliners or if it's a big lash collection and they need an eyeliner to go with that or some mascara. But for a collection like this, which isn't super big anyways, um, it's a fairly, to me even, like a pretty small to medium collection. It's pretty small. Why they would include so many repackaged items. Um, for example, the Velux brow pencils. The pencil, I mean, they're beautiful. The packaging is just gorgeous. Like, it has the hot pink writing and the soft pink and the rose gold. It's just gorgeous. Um, some of the most, some of the prettiest packaging I think I've ever seen from MAC. I just love it. I think it's pretty. Um, but, you know, like the Velux brow pencils, they have these in the permanent line. I get maybe that they were trying to do a collection where you would have everything. Um, there's also two false lashes, the 36 and 38. The 36 are my favorite false lashes ever. Um, they are the same lashes, they just put them in a little same collect same package that just said Riri on it. Another item like that is the Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara, which this is probably one of my favorite mascaras from MAC. This is the one that's normally in the blue tube, I believe. I just really like this mascara. It's a good one. You can see the brush a little better like that. Mascara brushes always blend into the background, so you gotta hold up something right behind them. Another product that is in the permanent line that they repackaged is the Point Black Liquid Last Liner. I am very sensitive to these. I don't know why. Oh, horrible swatch. Again, check out my blog. I don't even know why I did that. Um, but I, I don't have sensitive eyes by any means. I don't think I do. I mean, I've used 
tons of products under the sun and never have really had issues with anything but these. So I'm afraid to use these, um, although I know a lot of people like them. So try it for yourself. You might love it. But I just think it's unnecessary. I think it would have been much better if they would have just created some new and fun products truly for fall that really spoke to this collection and reflected her and her collaboration with MAC. Now on my blog there's some different thoughts, but thoughts from when I initially opened it, swatched it and everything, um, and then today I've actually gotten to play with it, I actually used some of the products, and think totally different about them. You cannot always tell or review something by a swatch, because I'll just go ahead and jump into this. For example, this eyeshadow quad and smoked cocoa, I was like, this totally sucks when I <laughs> swatched it last night. It swatches horrible, like the colors are a little chalky, some of them are just strange. Um, not too bad though, I mean not like super dramatically awful or anything. Um, but they just didn't swatch very well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just like this color to me doesn't swatch well, it doesn't look that bad. But when you swatch it on your hand it kind of drags a little bit. I thought this is going to be a nightmare to blend. Here's a little close up of the packaging. So today I knew I was going to do the video, so I thought I'm going to use it, and had a totally different experience when you actually use the colors with brushes and apply them. They worked really nice, although they swatched horribly. So, like I say so many times, you just can't depend totally on looking at a, pa at a something in the packaging, or just by finger swatching, or by whatever swatching you want to do. Sometimes you just got to use it like it's intended and see what it does. This is just this palette, or just this quad. I think it's a very basic palette for creating a more subtle smoky eye. You can definitely use um, this little sparkly charcoal color, um, it's like a you know like a softer black, to really germ make it more dramatic. But um, for me, it creates a beautiful soft smoky gray eye. And if you're into makeup, chances are you probably already have something like this. These are forty four dollars now which I guess they've been like that for a while, but I just remember the days when they were like $38 and that was still an arm and a leg to me for something like this. Um, so I hate that the prices just continue to go up. I mean, I know that's nothing new. I know the prices have been up for a while, but it just, I don't know. Um, I would like to try the bronze one. I don't have that one. I think it's called Her Cocoa. This one is Smoked Cocoa. But again, totally different. There were four lipsticks, which um, I guess the lipsticks are usually what is the most popular, especially with the Riri Woo and everything. Um, I didn't get the Riri Woo <laughs> tongue twister in this collection, but I do have it from another one. Um, I have two of the colors, and then this is Riri Woo. You guys I'm sure have seen a ton of times. All of them have her little name etched in the side. It's a really cool red. It's really nice. And I always say I'm not a huge red wearer, but I love red lipstick, and I think this is a good one. Um, and then Retch, or no, Talk That Talk, which is really scary and terrifying looking. It's one of the retro matte colors. This would be, I think, best suited for people with dark skin tones, because it really comes off um, very matte and like a, um, like a brownish purple, really deep. This is just called Nude, and I think this is cool because it's a very dark nude. I think would look best on darker skin tones. It's, um, it's a very brown, dark nude. Um, so neither one of those colors, I think, would be something that I would really wear a lot. I think that you could really sheer out the, um, the first one that I showed, the Talk That Talk, is that what it's called, and make that work. Um, but then back to the Riri Wu, there are there were two lip pencils. The other lip pencil matched this really super dark shade. I don't have that one, but I do have the Riri Wu, and it just matches the lipstick perfect. I think that's a great pencil. It's a pro long wear pencil. These are so expensive. They're twenty one fifty, but if you're really into lip liner, did I say eyeliner? That's a lip liner. Seems like in my head I said eyeliner. Um, those are great, and they're really creamy. Another Riri Wu product is the lip gloss. Cute packaging again. And this is the reddest lip gloss that I have ever seen. It's just super red. 
don't know if you can tell. Uh, it's a weird swatch. Um, yeah, super, super red. Matches all of that stuff perfectly, obviously. So that's nice that they have all that to kind of go together. And then a couple more items. There was a powder blush, one powder blush, and this is called Bad Girl Gone Good. And it's very orangey. It's like a... Um, like an orangey tan and for me it is a bit too orange but I think that you could make it work you could sheer it out I mean you can't really see where I swatched a little bit you can see where you swatched it um, it is very orange I think that would be really gorgeous on medium to darker skin tones and then maybe my favorite item in the collection is the cream color base and diamonds cream color bases are really versatile um, I haven't really showed them or used them in a while I used to use them quite a bit um, and especially ones that are more natural colors like this are really versatile um, because you can use it, you know, on your cheeks as a highlighter. You can use it on your lids. If I don't recommend these as, as um, using as bases under your eyeshadow because they will crease. You have to use the tiniest bit because they're very they're sticky, which is good because it will grab like powder products. But um, but they do settle. But this I use today on the tops of my cheekbones. And it's just really nice. It's like a golden shimmer. Really pretty. What I did is I just took an F15 brush or something like that. Any brush similar. And just dabbed it on the tops of my cheeks. And maybe you can't really see it on camera a lot. But um, I don't want to put on too much. But it is pretty apparent in person. But apparent in a nice way. That's not like, boom, she's wearing like super frosted highlighter. Um, so I think this is a great great thing from the collection. I think if you're into any of the lipsticks, pick those up. There was one more lipstick that was very orange that I don't have. Um, but yeah, I I like the concept of this collection. Packaging, I'm really liking um, probably more than anything. I think it's a good idea. I think I like how she's coming out with different collections. However, I wish that they were different. I think that this Hibiscus Kiss, I get that people liked it the first time around, but it seems like that wasn't even that long ago when it came out. I just think it's too close to put them out just for the sake of having it again. I think that they should have done one that was a little deeper, maybe more like fall-ish, since this is called a fall collection. I would have really loved to seen no permanent items. And I get that that happens in collections and I get why, but I think these Rihanna collections are fun because it's things that she's helped to collaborate to design. And I think it would have been really fun to have more lipsticks because um, I think these are nice. I think maybe like have some, you know, some fall lipsticks and some more blushes rather than just the one blush. Maybe have like a lot of lipsticks and blushes, a couple of quads. Um, I like the cream color base, the gloss and the lip liners. I just, you know... And then maybe even like these in some different colors, these dual powder blushes. So um, overall, I was sort of disappointed. I think that the colors are nice. I think, again, the moral of this is to try things out before you bash them or, you know, because when you swatch things, I when I swatched this, it was horrible. And I was like, what the heck? But when I used it, it was actually pretty nice. Um, but if you're into makeup, you probably already have something similar to that. I just, I wish it was more unique. Um, I wish that the eyeshadows were more unique, I guess. But I'm just saying, those are my thoughts. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you're planning on picking these up next week or if you have any thoughts of your own, tell me what you think about this. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you love it? Do you think I'm crazy? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you're thinking about picking up. So I will be posting the beauty tag video that I mentioned on Monday. Uh, the one that was promised today. It will be coming up on Monday. Uh, also, you can, as I said before, check out my blog for more um, detailed photos and more information, pricing, all that good stuff on the products themselves. I probably left out some things in the video that I may have even wanted to say. If you missed my video that I posted on Wednesday, because I realize I'm kind of posting these close together, I usually don't do them two days apart, um, but I figured I would go ahead before the weekend. If you missed my last video, which was my Fall Trends Volume 2, check that out. Um, I share a ton of different things, um, new boots, new, uh, all kinds of fashion tips and things for fall, um, a new handbag, all kinds of fun stuff. So, speaking of fall, check that out. It's good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you all very soon, and I hope that you have a fabulous weekend. Bye, guys.